We're starting a new chapter now in the Learning AutoCAD course, and we're going to be looking at the AutoCAD interface. So for that reason, we have a drawing open for you. It's called interface.dwg. And the drill is basically that you can download that from the library to follow along with the videos in this chapter. We'll be using the interface drawing for the whole of this chapter. And we won't be making any real changes, but it's there because it's much easier to demonstrate the interface with a live drawing actually open in AutoCAD. So let's have a look now at the application menu. Now the application menu is available on the big red A in the top left corner of your screen. If you click on the flyout menu, the little arrow next to the red A, the application menu appears like so. Now the benefit of the application menu is there's lots of different bits of functionality in there for you. One of which is the search at the top here where it says search commands. If I type in something like line, you'll see that it actually shows me all the matches for the line command from the help screens in AutoCAD, which is extremely useful if you just want to quickly look something up. If I just backspace there, you'll see that once it's blank again, it takes me back to the default menu interface. Now, over here on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll notice you have various commands. You have New, Open, Save, Save As, Import, Export, Publish, Print, drawing utilities, and obviously close as well. Close is really useful because you can close the current drawing or all drawings that you may have open at any given time. If you hover over any of these command settings, you'll see in the right-hand pane that you've got lots of different options available to you. So if you go to Save As, you can save out as lots of different file formats. You'll notice Drawing, you can save out to AutoCAD Web and Mobile, a new feature in AutoCAD 2019 and AutoCAD 2020. As I come down the list, you'll see there's a little arrow. If you click over that, it basically hovers and then you slide down the rest of the menu in the right-hand pane. So there's lots of different commands available to you. You've got drawing utilities here, which are always handy, where you can go in and set your units or audit your drawing, check the status of your drawing, run the purge command, and so on. So here you'll notice I've got recent documents. If I come over here, it's got open documents. And that shows me that I've only got the interface drawing open at this given time. If I go back to recent documents, shows me all the recent documents I've had open in AutoCAD over the last few sessions. Talking of recent documents, if I go here, I can look by ordered list, by access date, by size or by type. I can also change the display there. Now, you'll notice I've clicked away from the application menu and it disappears. It's a very easy thing to do when you're first learning AutoCAD. Just go back up, click on the fly out again. It's that quick and easy. So here, when I click here, I can have small icons. I can have large icons. I can even have images of the drawings. I can have large images of the drawings. If you get a big X like this, what this means is that particular file may have been moved or you don't have access to that location. I'm going to go back now to small icons, which is my personal preference. Now, it may be that you're working on regular drawings at a regular time in a project. So interface might be a drawing that I use all the time. So I just click on the pin. It'll always be there and never disappear from that list. That list will refresh over time. You'll find that it only displays a certain number of recent documents. If I remember rightly, I think the default is 10 or 20. You can set it in your AutoCAD options. But basically, this list will change if you don't pin the drawings that you want to keep there. Last but not least, you can go to your options here from the application menu. And what this does is it allows you to go into all of your settings within AutoCAD as well. So we can set our display, our open and save, and so on and so forth. So you can see how the application menu allows you to navigate your drawings, manage your drawings, but also there's a lot of command functionality in there as well. So don't ever dismiss the application menu. You might find a command in there that you're looking for elsewhere and you can't find it. Always check the application menu for anything you may need as well, because it's, it's just a useful tool. It's always there, always top left-hand corner. Just click on it and you can go there straight away using your mouse.